Hello everyone and welcome to my channel today. It is Mo Christy here and I am back with another video. So on this channel we do lifestyle, beauty, vlogs and everything nice. So if you're new on my channel, please do subscribe and do not go anywhere. Like where are you going? Please do subscribe. I hope you really like this video. And if you're returning, hello my love. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for just you know watching i really appreciate you guys as i've said i love you guys so much and we are family <laughs> anyway guys so today i just thought i should do something different i feel like you guys um i don't know don't really know me and i just felt like okay um this is one of those videos as you guys can see i don't even have lashes on it which is very rare um on my videos um, because today, this video, as you guys can already see by the title of the video, it's advice to my younger self or, um, as I wrote it here, advice to my younger self or, um, wait a minute girl, to my younger self, that's what I wrote it. This is my journal slash diary, whatever you would like to call it. Um, but yeah, so I wrote advice to my, it's for me, it's not like advice, but it's like things that I would tell my younger self compared to me now, you know, from the things that I've learned in this life. So, um, I'm really, really, I'm having so much anxiety about doing this video and I'm already cry. I'm already teary. So weird. Um, I think you guys know on my channel, we, we, you are allowed to cry here. You are allowed to feel whichever way you want to feel. So I'm just gonna head right into the video. I'm not, yeah, let's just. Hello guys and welcome back. So yeah, as I said, we know it's the title. So um, since all I'm 21 years of age at the moment and 21 is like a very significant number for me this year, I thought that I would write 21 things that I would say to my younger self. And yeah, I hope this goes well and I hope I don't cry, but I have tissue around so and I didn't, you know, I do my lashes usually, but this time around and I, this is not the hate. This is like cool makeup. I do heavy makeup usually and yeah, because I know <laughs> I it's the probability of me crying is like 90 out of 100. So yeah, so this is let me start to my younger self. Everything that's the first one is that everything that happened to you is not your fault. Okay, Priscilla, girl, <laughs> if you cry. Okay, the second one is you are not as fat as you think you are. You aren't as fat as you think you are, for real. As women, we just keep on criticizing our bodies as, okay, as you guys will see with everything that I've said, but yeah. Whew, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm moving rambling. The third one is you don't have to fit in. You do not have to fit in, Priscilla. You really don't. You're amazing just the way you are. You're different just the way you are. And it is okay. The fourth one is not everyone is going to like you. You need to know that. Not everyone is, is going to like you. You know. You don't know at your age. But now, oh, not everyone is going to like you. The fifth one is you are very, very beautiful. You're very beautiful. Um, a little backstory to this. Um, I grew up as a tomboy until like high school. Even in the seventh grade, I was just, I was so much of a tomboy. And because of, I think now that I think about it, it's because of everything that I've been through, the trauma that I've been through, that I just decided to dress and be a boy. Because I guess, yeah, I don't really want to get into the of that, but yeah number six your family loves you you don't have to cut oh i don't even want to say it like that you don't have to do self-harm i just had to write it as raw as possible i mean you do not have to do self-harm by the way i grew up very well my family loves me but you know sometimes in life you go through things um you go through things you do not have to yeah you don't have to do self-harm um, your family loves you very much. It was hard for you to understand at that time, but they do. <sighs> do, 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 do. Girl, you better not. You better not, okay? 
Ooh, I don't want it to be in run. I don't want the. Yeah. <laughs> I'm rambling. Okay. The seventh one is there's more to life. You don't have to take your own. <sighs> there's more to life. You don't have to take your own. Because of the things that I've been through, I, yeah, mm -hmm. I think it, it's self-explanatory, but you really don't have to. You're amazing. And yeah, you don't have to do that. That's what I'm going to say. Um, okay, the other one is God is the only one that can save you. And he really did. Relating to what I just said right now, that you don't have to take your own. Um, at that point, I didn't know, but with God and by God's grace, I am here today. And I couldn't be more thankful. I, there's, there is actually more to life than what I was seeing at that time or whatnot. But yeah. <laughs> um, it's okay that boys your age didn't like you. So a little backstory to this one for people to understand. I was on a bus one day, obviously the bus that used to take us home, whatever. And then some boy was asked, I don't know what was relating about dating, but he just said Priscilla looks like a horse. I've always been bigger in my life. I always looked five years older than my age. I've always like been big, you know what I mean? So. Um, he said, no, Priscilla, of which I know now I'm a stallion. <laughs> right at the top, tall girls worldwide, whether you're tall. I, a lot of people used to refer to me as a giant. I didn't really like it. I still feel some sort of way about being called a giant, but it's also like, okay, whatever, you know, I really don't care. I know I'm, I've been bigger. I'm okay with being bigger. I'm okay with looking like a stallion. Um, but yeah, at that time, I didn't know. And yeah, boys my age didn't like me. And funny thing is that when I was in high school, um, especially towards the end of my high school, then people wanted to start being with me. And it was like, because with me at that point, I started like, you know, liking college boys, university boys, liking college boys, you know, just like, you know, you know what I mean? And Boys my age would be upset that I like college boys, but they never really, I don't know. I don't want to talk about that, but it's really okay to look like a stallion, honey. You're doing great. Okay. It's okay. Um, again, you're not ugly. That's number 10. Again, you're not ugly. You are not ugly. You're very beautiful. Okay. Wow. My daughter. <laughs> number 11, you actually have a beautiful body. So as I said, Referring to everything that had happened to me And by the way that horse comment really hurt me. I still remember it till today and I wonder why because I guess it hurt me that much um, And everybody was laughing so I guess that's why it stuck in my mind Whew, It's really okay, but now I'm a bomb ass period girl you are bomb right now You are doing the most honey. Let no one lie okay i'm so sorry about that yeah technical difficulties you guys almost, almost saw my man but anyway we move number 12 forgive those that, that took advantage of you forgive them forgive them forgive them forgive them all it's okay and that will help you move on that it was really okay i i did that I've done that now, but it's like, thank you, God, for real. Okay, anyway, um, we're not talking about... And by the way, guys, this is not to make you guys feel sorry for me. Hey, none of that. It's just to give you guys an understanding that it's okay to go through things in life. It's okay to get hurt. It's okay, you know, it's okay, but this is still to my younger self. Number 13, you are worthy of everything beautiful. And that is what God has blessed you with now. Just so you know, Priscilla, you are worthy of everything amazing. I'm messing up my makeup. I look like trash. That's okay. You are worthy of everything beautiful. You deserve it. 
you have it right now but yeah um number 14 take one day at a time take each day as it comes and be grateful number 15 love yourself more and more every day love yourself more and more each day you know yeah you're doing amazing sweetie you're doing amazing number 16 you are very blessed you have an amazing family that loves you although you were going through some things that you felt like you know whatever but you have an amazing family that loves you that has your back you have the greatest mom ever yeah you're doing amazing sweetie <laughs> Um, number 17 be more proud of where you come from so let me give a background story about this one so I've been changing schools a lot so the time that I moved to Pretoria people have this stereotype but not anymore because now we're winning and that's on period people had this stereotype about being from Limpopo I'm from a village not a village it's not like a village village but it is a village in Limpopo called Pokwani Mukababa and now that I've grown up and now that I've been, I'm more proud of where I'm from. I'm more proud of where I come from. But it's just that then when I would talk to people, especially when I moved to Pretoria, they're like, oh my God, you, you're from, you're from Blimpopo and you speak like such good English. And I'm like, do. So at that point, it made me not shy or like not proud, but it just made me not tell people where I'm from. I will just be like, no, I'm from around. Uh, no, I'm from around. You know what I mean? But now, girl, period. I am more proud of... You, you are flourishing, baby girl. But, yeah, just that thing of being from... And I, I feel like some kids still experience it now. And I just want to say, listen, be proud of where you're from regardless. And that's on period. Right to the You're from Limpopo. You're from Jane Fest. You're from Rwakomu. You're from... Uh, Panama, you're from a uh, Tubats, you're from a uh, Mostorlos. Listen, be proud of where you're from, okay? Period. <laughs> um, okay, what's the other one? Where was I? Okay, yes, number 18, stop comparing yourself to others, girl. You, 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 you're doing well now, but honestly, you need to stop. I think that also came with a lot of problems and issues with self-love and self-understanding. Understanding that I'm actually unique. That was the problem. The way I am and I'm perfect. That was the problem. But you're doing well now. Um, number 19, drink more water. Girl, do what your mama is telling you. Because now you have, <laughs> you have a weird relationship with water, but now it's better. But yeah, drink more water. Number 20, there's no need for you to eat as much as you do. <laughs> this one is for real. I remember crying for a whole platter for, was it a platter for one or was it like ribs and stuff in spur in like my sister and I wanted to, sh no, my sister wanted me to share with someone else. And I was just crying for that whole thing by myself. There's no need for you to eat that much. You, are, you always be thick, you're thick, it's a good thing, but there's no need for you to eat a lot. Okay, but you love food, girl. You do. Everybody knows Priscilla loves food. So it's okay. Um, number 21. You are amazing and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. This is the last one that I have to say to myself that I'm actually amazing. And I don't have to let anyone tell me otherwise. Don't let it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. And... This one is just for me. I, don't, I know I said 21, but this one is just for me in general. That God blessed you with the things that you prayed for. And I'm glad you didn't do other th I'm glad you are where you are. And I just in general for me right now, I'm glad that I went through all the things that I went through. Although obviously I wish it would have been twitched in other ways, but I do not regret my life. I'm happy that I went through certain things to be the person that I am today. As I said, this video is just to show you guys that it's okay to go through things. And not to say when I have, I had my last anxiety attack last year. When I had that, everything came flooding back. That's what happens with me and my anxiety attacks. Sorry, I don't know if I'm hitting the microphone. But, yeah. Um, this is life. 
Priscilla, you thank God you have God. And one thing I oh, another thing, do not let go of your relationship with God. I have to say, don't even forget about it for two minutes. But you kind of did, but you're okay now. You're doing amazing with Jesus and God. So yeah. Those are the things I have to say to myself. This was a very emotional video. Um I hate do I hate being emotional? No, I don't hate being emotional. I feel like for me it's okay um, to be emotional. But yeah. This was kind of also very therapeutic, I guess. And I'm more grateful, you know. I'm more, more, more grateful. Man, the things that we go through in this life. Um, anyway, I hope if you're a new subscriber, I have not scared you away. Um, this is the only, not really the only sad video or not even that sad, but it's, it gets better. Okay. I have other videos and I have other things coming up, but I just wanted you guys to understand me and I'm sure I'm not the only one that's been through all the things that I've been through. And I want you guys to relate to me because I feel like most of the time I don't share a lot. I'm very, very private, very, um, but I just felt the need to actually let you guys in a little bit more. So thank you guys for tuning in wherever you are. God is watching and you're going to be fine. And there's light at the end of the tunnel. There always is. I'm so grateful now. I have an amazing baby girl. I have an amazing, I'm at an amazing place. And I'm so grateful. And not to say that where I am, there's no challenges, but now I know where to run to. I know the God I serve. Um, I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of something. I know I don't know, I know this is taking time, but um Yes, last week when I went to church, they were preaching about Exodus 14. If you read Exodus 14, the whole of the chapter, it's about the Israelites and, the, and Pharaoh and Moses. Um, and the pastor was putting out when they got to the Red Sea, um, the Israelites were like, did God bring us this far to actually kill us? Did he bring us this far to just let us perish? But... The, the message from that was that the Israelites were being oppressed in Egypt and God took them out and they got to, to, to the Red Sea and they thought, you know what, this is the end. Oh my God, these people are going to kill us. Did he bring us out here in the desert so that we can get killed? And the pastor pointed out that, listen, the same grace that put you out of Egypt is the same grace that will take you through that Red Sea. It is the same grace of God, the same favor, the same God that you prayed to that took you out of Israel, it's the same God that will take you through this Red Sea. As impossible as it looked, I think that's one of the most impossible stories in the Bible that anybody can, like, how can you part a whole sea? But that one problem that you're facing right now, this 2020 hasn't been easy, but that one problem that you're facing, the same God that made you get that job, is the same God, even though you lost it, it's the same God that will give you a better one. So it's okay. That's the lesson of the all, actually, that it's okay to go through things, but there's always light at the end. Canaan is waiting for you. The, mil the land of milk and honey, once they pass that, it's waiting for you. So last but not least, the weapons will be formed, but they shall not prosper. This was not meant to be a preaching. <laughs> This is not meant to. I hope this mic is on because, girl, the weapons will be formed, but they shall not prosper. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm done. I'm very done. <laughs> I'm not a saint, but I believe in my God. I'm not a saint, but I believe in my God. Okay. Anyway, guys, I um, love you guys very much. Have a wonderful day, morning, or night. And thank you for watching. And please do share. This might help someone. So bye. <laughs>